So the final port of call this season that is entry. And the first race is the first of the Paul Moores finals. This is the shorter one of the two, the three mile five furlong one. It's a grade three handicap. And the top one is Sounds of the Marina, Darren Thompson. Eyes to the right, Graham Clutterbuck, Ziva David, Paul Rhodes. Upper Street, Darren Thompson, Sharma Blue, Daniel French, Silver King, Darren House, Right Grass, David Robertson, Half Supreme, Derek Hinton, Southern Quest, Kevin Meenhan, and Stoke Hill, James Follis. Only 10 then, which is a surprise considering how many qualifiers we've had. And I think the field for the longer distance one is considerably bigger. Whether, the, whether this one might be just a little bit too short. Anyway, aerial sweep of the track. As you can see, we're on the Grand National Course, and away we go. Ziva David and Half Supreme, the first two to show, nothing all that keen to go on it would seem as they race into the first and Half Supreme gets over it in the lead then from Ziva David as they make their way towards the canal turn which comes up early in this race, the second obstacle that they take and Half Supreme has got a lead of about three or four lengths already as they come into this uh, we've seen in the past you don't let Derek Hinton's horses get too far in front in these jump races because they have a tendency to stay there sometimes, and he's pretty good over this track. And Half Supreme leads them as they come into Valentine's. Half Supreme the leader. And they come into it from Sands of the Marina in second. Oh, we've lost one there. Some right grass has gone. So the first departee. I hope we don't get too many then. We're down to nine there. Right grass is out of the race, and Half Supreme is the leader. From eyes to the right in second as they take the fourth. And closest to us is Sands of the Marina on the far side, upper street. And Ziva David and Southern Quest together with Silver King and the Orange Jacket as they take the next. That's a big ditch. And over that one they go with Sharma Blue, just the back marker. So Half Supreme then in front by a good three as they come into the next. And they're all safely over that one. Although Silver King gave it plenty of air at the back. It's surprising to see. I don't think we've got many people who've got two ones in this. I think the only one is Darren Thompson. I really did expect a big field for this race. And Half Supreme then is the leader by about four. Two eyes to the right second. Ziva David third up a street fourth. And Sounds of the Marina after that one. Southern Quest and Stoke Hill. And then the back two are Silver King and Sharma Blur. As we see them from the inside of the track. Racing towards the home straight where they'll take two fences and then the chair and the water and then go out for a complete circuit of the entry track and half supreme leads him into this one then with a good clear lead from eyes to the right second Ziva David third and Upper Street and Stoke Hill and the Southern Quest just tucked in behind them sounds of the marina after that Silver King and finally Sharma Blur as they come down to what will be the last on the next circuit and now they'll angle towards the centre of the course towards the chair next and half supreme leads into it by a good six lengths as we see them come to it and over it they go and everybody's got over their chair nice and easily as we get the view from the top of the stand you can see they're going to come down towards the water jump now we'll skip over that without too much problem and then swing left-handed and Decent run to the next fence, which of course is the first in the Grand National and will be the first in the second of the Paul Moores finals, which Stu will be bringing you straight after this race. So half supreme leads then to eyes to the right second. Silver with a read third, Stoke Hill four, Upper Street five and Southern Quest six. Then comes Sands of the Marina, Silver King and Sharma Blue. Or Sharma Blue, I always get called out with that one, is the back marker. So over the Melon Road they go then down towards the first fence in the Grand National, which is not the first fence in this race, it's the 11th, and Half Supreme is in the lead. As he has been throughout, skips over it nicely, the rest of them follow suit, all jumping well, just that one deep RT so far, right grass early on, and Half Supreme leads into the second. All safely over that one as well as they come out of this next one, which is the big ditch of course, and Half Supreme Leads into it from Ziva David and eyes to the right. Southern Quest is getting closer as they take number 13. And we're losing one there. It looks like it might be Upper Street, I think. Yeah, Upper Street's been pulled up. So, see that one's something to miss with that one as they come down to the next. And over that one they go. And uh, 
Sharma Blue is getting a little bit detached and just being given the hurry up as they race down towards the next end. They'll be heading down towards Beaches Brook shortly. And over that one they go. They're all safely over that then as they make their way down towards Beaches Brook. Looks like we might be doing a bit of jockey camming over this. It would have been fun a few years ago with that big drop and it's not really such a formidable fence anymore as it used to be. We're going to go over it with Silver King it would seem. And over it we go. And we all got her in okay. And now make our way down towards the fence that is now known as Ford Haven. Which is probably quite strange considering it was one of the fuels that didn't actually fall at it. And they make their way down now then towards the next and we're on the back of sound of the marina. I'm sure we'll get back to a proper race shortly. This looks like it's going to be the canal turn. Next it is and Go. A sharp turn down towards Valentine's, which is where we lost right grass, and we now go back to a normal view and half Supreme's the leader. The eyes to the right second, Stoke Hill third, Ziva David four. Remember that one okay, then there's a little bit of a gap then to Southern Quest Sands of the Marina, Silver King and Sharma Blur, who seems to be going okay again now. And they're pretty well strung out, and half Supreme comes into the 20th with a lead of a couple of lengths to eyes to the right, and these two are clear of Stoke Hill and Ziva David. And another gap to Southern Quest and Sands of the Marina and Silver King just on the back of them as they take that next one. Sharma Blur still the back marker and Half Supreme is in the lead but only by about three quarters of a length now. As they make their way to the third last. And over that one they go. A slow jump by eyes to the right and Half Supreme still in front. As they will make this turn left handed shortly they go over the melon road they turn left they've got two more fences to take and then the big long running which we've seen so many races the complexion change on that running but half supreme has gone a good four lengths clear again now in four lengths clear of eyes to the right ziva david is going well in second then stoke hill and silver king sounds of the marinas after that one then southern quest and sharma blue is just the back marker still but it's half supreme who's still in the lead he's been in the lead pretty much all the way he races down towards the second last fence with a lead of four or five lengths two eyes to the right ziva david silver king then stoke hill sounds of the marina over the second last they go sharma blue is now making good progress the only one who looks to be beating is southern quest but it's half supreme one to jump. Half Supreme's in the lead. Siva Levine is in second. Eyes to the right is third. Sounds of the Marina four. Then Stoke Hill, Sharma Blur and Silver King at the final fence then. And Half Supreme gets over it nicely. Siva Levine over it in second. Now we've got the long run and they race towards the elbow. It's Half Supreme in the lead from Siva Levine in second. Then Eyes to the right. Stoke Hill, Sharma Blur. Some of these appear to be going up and down in the air. But it's Half Supreme still in front. They race into the final third and they're queuing up behind and they're not getting to him yet. Half Supreme is still in the lead. Past the chair they go. Half Supreme's in the lead, he's got half a furlong to last. Sharma Blur is finishing like a train on the outside. Eyes to the right, trying to get closer, but Half Supreme is going to take it. And at the line, Half Supreme wins it. Eyes to the right, Sharma Blur, Ziva David, Stoke Hill, Sounds of the Marina, and Silver King was probably last. But it's a win for Derek Hinton, who just can't stop winning it these days, can he? He's winning everything. Half Supreme for Derek Hinton, the winner. Eyes to the right, Grand Crossbox second. Sharma Blue for Daniel French. Right, a really good race in the end. They finished third. Zero David, Paul Rhodes was fourth. And Stoke Hill for James Follis was fifth.